All right, guys. I'm back. This is the latest product that I've modified and changed due to the fact that it sucked right out of the box. This is the D-Link DIR 657. It's a media router, but it's supposed to be a gaming router which allows you to game and watch streaming video at the same time and not cause any lag. Maybe that's true if you're playing Oregon Trail and streaming a five second video. So to make it better, I took it apart, added some antennas inside, and changed a few other things. This is the way the router looks when you first get it. All the antennas are internal two little pieces of metal are supposed to act as wireless in extreme antennas and it's supposed to broadcast all over your house with guaranteed performance bullshit that doesn't work at all and that's not true so to combat that I took it apart added some of my antennas of my own external antennas as you can see here and here, and here. A better look. Before the factory installs two little pieces of metal that are supposed to act as an antenna and they don't work very well. The antennas I installed are just your standard SMA extensions which are very popular, easy to find, and they're cheap. What I did is I soldered them to the original solder points that were manufactured on the motherboard by the company. Since the wires are less than six inches long, these are fine, no amplification is needed. And the same thing on this side. Since I've added these antennas, now you're able to stream multiple high definition streams at one time while playing a game either online, your Xbox, your Wii, or whatever. Without these external antennas installed, this wireless router is useless. This is the D-Link 657 with the HD fuel. This HD fuel is pretty much garbage. Turned it off. Leaving it enabled causes issues with other devices such as my iPad or my iPhone. If I'm trying to watch a YouTube video on my iPad while somebody is searching or browsing something on the internet, my iPad is denied service until that person has finished browsing something. Even if you go into the configuration page and change that. For some reason it doesn't like Apple devices using internet traffic while other people are using it as well. Uh, I haven't tested that with any other devices, such as like an Android device or anything else. I only have Apple devices, wireless devices, I should say. So I'm not sure if that's true for anything else. Um, without modifying this router with these antennas, I would not recommend this router for somebody that is streaming video playing multiple games, or we have multiple people playing a game in their house at one time, um, or anything other really than just watching one video, or playing one game console. Uh, it just, it, it doesn't perform. I have a Linksys uh, E1200, which is their standard, pretty much entry level router with built in antennas that outperforms this, and it was much cheaper. Um, so maybe that's something dealing changes in the future. Maybe they start putting external antennas back on their routers. I noticed a lot of companies are doing away with external antennas and doing the little internal antennas here with little pieces of metal. Uh, but that, come on, you know, give us the antennas that we're used to having. They work. They do well. Uh, I'll put this on my site for purchase. It's the only one I have. The only one I'm going to buy and modify unless somebody else requests it. Um, the next video I'm going to do, I'm actually going to take the Linksys E1200 apart, um, install some external antennas in it as well to see how much better performance I can get even though it's outstanding as it is. Um, now that one will also be up for sale. Uh, this one I think I'm just going to list for like 45 50 bucks. 50 um, 
I don't know, like you can see it's brand new with the box and all that shit so uh, that's pretty much it any questions comments I don't give a shit leave them if you want if you don't I don't care I'm not gonna cry but this is the 657 HD fuel gaming router from D-Link that is no good unless you do these mods yourself I'll list the links for the parts in the channel description um, and I can provide still pictures for people that want to do it for themselves as well. Uh, as always, have a nice day.